Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I'll show you how you can copy Elementor page content or even Elementor sections and columns from one website to another website. That's right, without exporting and importing, would it be just cool to just copy and paste the content with dynamic content for Elementor plugin? You can quite easily do that. Elementor has support for copy paste between the same website but it doesn't have the capability to copy content between websites. With dynamic.triplo this is how it works. So first just select the page, open up the page that you want to copy in Elementor interface. Also you have to open the page in the other domain where you want to receive or paste this content. As you can see this is wpalternate.com and this is wpfreedom.com and in order for this to work you have to make sure that both your sites are HTTPS only. If one of the sites is not HTTPS, this is not gonna work. Since most of the sites are already HTTPS, this will flaw seamlessly work. So the first thing that you need to do is to open up the page that you want to copy. Since I've opened this page, I'll just right click. This is Elementor's right click. And for those of you who don't know, if you minimize this panel and right click, you'll get browser options and if you expand this panel and right click you'll get elementor's right click options so from here i'll just right click and say copy all content so we've copied this entire page from wpfreedom.com now we'll go to another website or another domain wpalternate.com i'll click here i'll just right click and i'll say paste from clipboard now it will give me a pop-up saying it wants to see all the images and text you have to allow this and once you do just like that, all the content appears on your second website. Within a fraction of a second, we just copied all this content and pasted it onto the other website. It's that easy. This is Chrome browser and you only get this pop up just once. You can also click this clipboard icon and click on manage to either allow or disallow or change your options. As you can see, all the options are allowed and WP alternate is allowed and you can do the reverse of this so let's say i've removed this from wp alternate i'll just add an image here even the images are seamlessly copied let's pick an image from here i'll pick this one i'll click insert media now i'll copy this section from wp alternate i'll go back to wp freedom i'll right click and i'll say paste from clipboard the same pop-up appears on this website i have to allow this and just within a fraction of a second the section gets copied right there you can then comfortably delete this section you have the new section so it's quite simple copying and pasting and this is possible because of the clipboard api so you can manage these options and this is how it works in chrome now i open the same websites on firefox and this is how it's gonna work so i'll just right click on this particular page i'll say copy all content i'll go to the other website i'll right click here i'll say paste to clipboard now it doesn't paste anything and down below it shows a pop-up saying the direct paste is not supported and manual paste is supported all you need to do is to right click in this box and paste so all the content will be pasted into json format you don't have to understand any of it you just need to click on this paste dynamic button once you do everything is copied and for browsers that don't support direct copy paste or the clipboard api this is how it's going to work so you need to do take a step further and use the manual paste and this works not just for content it also works for styles i'll click on this section i'll go to the style tab i'll change the image itself i'll pick this image for the section as you can see the background is changed now i'll right click here copy this section go to this website i'll click on this section i'll right click and i'll say paste style from clipboard again the manual paste option pops up i'll right click and paste i'll say paste and just like that the background of the section is changed to what we have here so copy and paste works with content and also with styles it also works between your browsers 
so you can open up a website in google chrome and paste it into another website which is open in firefox this is a quick tutorial showing you it also works in safari sometimes it may get buggy but this is how it's gonna work that's it for now that's how you copy content between elementor websites let me know if you guys have any questions regarding this i'll talk to you in the next one subscribe if you didn't already see ya